I really think like there is kindness and that's a real thing. And I think there's niceness, which is a false thing. Like, I ah, think, interesting distinction. Yeah. Because I, I, I realize I know nice people and nice people mm-hmm. often do not like kind people. Nice people kind of pursue a veneer of kindness, but it's it's the guise of niceness, and it's all on the surface. Is like niceness get, superficial? I mean, interrupted, but like yeah, like no, that's what along. I think. Yeah, I think it is. I think niceness is a superficial attitude. I think it's it's a veneer. It um, makes it appear like you get along with everybody, but kindness sometimes can be difficult, right? Like you want to be kind to somebody, and sometimes that means telling them the truth. Yeah. Sometimes that means going in the trenches with them because they're hurt or they're upset. Sometimes kindness is in the most difficult situations where you're riding, you know, t- with them to a hospital and you have to get them there and they're going through a breakdown and they just need a friend. But you're like, you want to cry because it's it's so heartbreaking Yeah. and you're being kind to them and you're not, you know, you're not asking for anything. Niceness would just make it make the appearance of doing those things without really substance of true kindness. And even like going back to what you were saying, I think sometimes um, it's not even about the give and take relationship. Sometimes I think it's about walking alongside some, like respecting somebody that like, we try to help somebody and say, oh, they need this. And then just give them the thing. And then that somehow like will help them. No, sometimes it's really just being with them in the difficulty. Like maybe you mm-hmm. can't solve their problem, but like, can you walk alongside them? Yeah. Can you help find them resources? Can you um, respect them enough to say, yeah, hey, we've all been there, um, but I, I'll be with you in the difficulty and I will try to help resource you, but I'm not going to embarrass you or, you know, just try to like Santa Claus the situation. It's just <laughs> give you gifts and, th- you know, because that's not always going to solve the solution. And so sometimes that's also an aspect of niceness is it can Santa Claus people and just like mm-hmm. try to solve everybody's problem. And you're yeah. going to wear yourself out like that. Like I just don't yeah. think that's sustainable. Only give Even what just you for can. You as an individual. What's that? Yeah, only only give like you should only give what you can. But yeah, it, it, to, it's almost interesting. Like being nice is talking to somebody that has a booger in their nose and still just talking to them, mm-hmm. ignoring the booger. Right. Being kind is pulling them aside and say, "Hey, dude, you got a booger in your nose, man. Here, here's a hanky." You know, that's being kind. Because totally. and you're and and then and then being cruel is ah look at the booger you know that right. that's like embarrassing you in front of everybody exactly exactly so like being kind is is that pulling them aside and saying hey listen buddy you know but mm-hmm. you know being nice is not addressing it and just right. being like exactly. so how was your day huh yeah got allergies exactly. today you know that kind of that kind of and stuff. they're not really paying attention they're not really yeah. And- like honestly, I what I what I've observed is that people that tend to be nice um, really won't like people who are kind because it does make them not look as good, which is really weird because it is such a veneer and it's on the surface. Because then they start to see the substance of kindness, ah, which is okay. what they don't the necessarily actions. have. Mm-hmm. And I had a friend, which so you talk about like the booger in the nose. I think I was eating something and I had. Um, I had like a crumb on my face and she just, it was so cute. She took a napkin and she's like wiping my face like a mother to a child. Yeah. I just started laughing, but it was really because she was caring for me, which was really sweet. But she and I both started laughing and I'm like, really, did you just like wipe my face with a napkin? <laughs> like, but it was because she cared about me. Like she mm-hmm. wanted to make sure, you know, and I was talking. So she was like not trying to interrupt me and it was very sweet, but also like just, made me laugh but it was true kindness to like wipe my face <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and, and that's true that. kindness you know and and it yeah. wasn't like hey you look I, let me wipe this off your face well, loud in front of everybody it was just hey i got you i got you back <laughs> i got you that's exactly. the friend you need right the one exactly. that has napkins <laughs> um sometimes i've noticed yeah you know, on in the twitter verse and other social media that you do, uh, we do sometimes run into people, and God bless them, but they they tend to be addicted to that "woe is me" attention. Like mm-hmm. they'll they'll post like I'm having such a bad day, and "woe is me." Do you think mm-hmm. that do you think that social media sometimes enables that a little bit, and also taps into folks like us who are empathic and and mm-hmm. want to help? 
what I've had situations where I've offered to help. I've offered to be kind, just even to listen, not try to solve. Mm-hmm. And it just tends to be almost like it, like a waste of time because mm-hmm. they're just feeding off of that, that attention. Have you, have you experienced that sometimes? Yeah. The victimhood scenario yeah. is really a big deal. And I don't know if I think social media enables reach. And so because of it mm-hmm. enabling that reach, I think there's a lot of sympathetic people and, in some way, some ways yeah. I would say that's the caution of niceness, right? Like, because I think, and when I say like niceness, I can be nice, but mm-hmm. I can, I want to be kind. I think that's the difference is like, I know, I know when I have the um, attitude of niceness where I'm not really paying attention to what the person needs and I just want to look better in front of it. I, I understand yeah. the veneer and I just want to like, look like I'm doing, like I care, but I really don't have the time or the attention to actually give. So sometimes that situation really offers people an outlet to do good in front Mm -hmm. of others, but yet you don't know the person. So you don't really know the person, like you're not in their sphere. It's all online. Like you, like we can try to know each other, but I think there is like um, going back to the neighborhood situation, there are people directly connected to you. They're in your sphere. I do think like, care and kindness kind of works outward from your circle. And as much as you can do, Mm -hmm. that's where you have to start because, and if you're giving resources way far afield of your neighborhood, your neighbors, your family, then you're missing out on maybe what's like right in your sphere of influence. Mm -hmm. And so I think the victimhood kind of causes the uh, social media reach that can get a lot of like false help that's not really helping that person because you don't know their daily life. You don't know what their situation really is because Mm -hmm. it is, again, it's just another form of the veneer. It's another form of the surface, the wall between you and that person. And I wish that it was true that we could really, you know, when we can connect and like actually uh, reach through the computer so that like you and I, Hey, we met Mm -hmm. and I'd be like, you know, I know you and I'd be like, Oh dude, I really want to help you. I know you're struggling with this. I would love to. But that's because we've connected and we've gone a layer deeper. But I think a lot of those are just like really on the surface and try to connect with those people. I just don't think it, they're not there for that. Full episodes every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific.